The moment you are diagnosed as a diabetic, you start knowing a lot of terminologies. One such terminology is glycemic index, GI. You divide food into high GI, medium GI, and low GI. But what is this glycemic index? You take a particular quantity of glucose, measure your blood sugar periodically every 15 minutes, and then plot it against a graph. How fast it rises, how much it rises, how much time it remains in the raised state. Just make a graph of it. For this type of behavior, for this type of rise, fall and staying there, you give glucose as 100. So you always compare other foods with glucose. Foods which behave exactly like this, how fast it rises and how much it rises. The behavior of this second food is equal to glucose. The second food also has a glycemic index 100. So it is not an absolute number, it's a comparative number. If another food you give, it behaves 50% as that of glucose. If the glucose reaches 140 milligram in, in half an hour, and if this food reaches only 70 milligram in half an hour, then this is equal to 50% behavior of the glucose. Now I give 50 to this. So this is not an absolute number. Same thing with the rice also. You have white rice, which is 70 to 80 the GI, and you have basmati rice, which is about 50 to 60 only. Remember one thing, the way you cook can modify this. For example, if you take potato, the raw potato, which is not cooked, the, the GI is around 50. A potato which half boiled with skin, it will be around 60 or 70. And if you smash the potato, it will be around 80. If you bake the potato, it will be around 110. That means it is more than glucose. So what I want to tell is the way you cook a food will change the GI of that food. In other words, the rice you are taking, which has got a 70 to 80, it can be made into a basmati like GI 50 to 60. If you reduce that GI to that level, there is no need to restrict your rice intake. It will not raise your blood sugar. How to get this and what is the cooking process by which you can reduce the GI from 70 to 80 or 90 to 50 to 60 to know, please click the link below.